We'll do the I'll do the intro. We'll do that. Just, we'll before, do we talk about, just before we talk about the main agenda of today, as yet. Hey, as that support system us. <laughs> It's hard. Uh, ah, mm-hmm. that, uh, M- 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 mm-hmm. That's her name, right? Yes, Mwende Mashaya. Mwende, man, I love you, but I'm going to g- pick a gunshot. Come Don't do that as a leg. Bye. <laughs> hey, I'm a kufa, relax. <laughs> 26. <laughs> this is the Park of Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Park of Podcast. The mics are closed. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> what up, my name is Chuck CV, Mastermind. The Lord Jackson, <laughs> the beautiful Mariah. When you mama to me, Abana. What up, guys? This is Chaxi, the mastermind, your main guy, the Lord Chaxi, the beautiful Mariah is here. The amazing Moss is here. The whole gang is here, and we are Mike Chaxi. No, episode seventy-three. Oh, we uh, are Mike Chaxi. <laughs> I was close. close. I was you are, close though. You are super close. I, I'm giving her a B plus. <laughs> nah, a minus. Uh, no, I, I'll minus. give you a D minus. Nah. <laughs> D minus. Me. I was going to make a bad joke. Wow. No, you can make the bad stop. joke. I can't make the bad joke. You can Why? make the bad joke. I don't want to get cancelled. Nah, just make Come it. On. I will not make the bad ah, joke. Fuck okay, you, nigga. Okay, fine. <laughs> Keep that joke to yourself. I was checking. It's funny. It's funny. It's sure. Oh my Sorry. goodness. We are so hungover. We? we? You speak oh, French now? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we are so hungover. We and you? Bro, this is the most hangover I've been in a while. I don't even get hangovers that frequently, uh, but I am going through the most. That's a personal choice. What the choice. fuck was I thinking, though? That's a personal choice. I did what I so I woke up, did a, I did a bottle of Prosecco, got for fusion, I did Moratina, I did some beers, I did. Uh, some whiskey, I did some gin. Did you throw what up? What the fuck, bro? You're forgetting the two Proseccos you had at Full Fusion. Yeah. That, those Proseccos then went home, had more Proseccos. Did you throw up? Have you thrown up at any no. one point? No, I can't. Damn. Azad would be disappointed. So Chaxi, <laughs> <laughs> Chaxi is an amazing host when they're women. That's a lie. I take care of you regardless. What you mean? Okay, he... Th- I'm not so regardless. <laughs> First of all, you know, when you go, Auntie, when when have you never been comfortable in my in in my in, in my We've space? been comfortable. We've been comfortable, yeah. but half the time you 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 make me work. That's a lie. You, make you me... choose to. No, you choose Chaxi, to. Taxi, you need to food poisoning. I'm at Ulevizuri. I have to decide. That's I'm like. It's a choice. When it's it's just a choice between two food poisoning and my flavor. That's what I'm like. Yeah. Apart. So, Auntie, I'm would like. Would you trust Taxi to cook if you're at his house? I would trust him to cook for my dogs. <laughs> wow, which you don't have <laughs> which you don't Talk have like, oh my god this is amazing Rex is gonna love it <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why because I've offered to cook before but you all would never yeah, let me yeah I'm not trying to die you know you're the lord you might live forever even though mezo ya kukula as for us even if ato mimi sa hizi hii angova ndi na kapitia si mimi only thing that stress checks to cook for me is boiled eggs I, oh shit! I did boil some eggs and left them in the cooker. Yeah, I saw them. I thought it was from again. No, I am the one who boiled those eggs. I wanted to eat them, but then we got to eat them. Ah, bros! This nigga would have been fighting. I'd have been dog. I'd have been dog. Hey, dog. Like, if hey. you know, you know. Oh, for fusion was amazing, man. Shout out to the whole. Wow, yeah. that was beautiful. Hey, wait, wait. First of all. See now, pick your coffee when you're millionaire. Me, I just Very mannerless. Do, Honestly, Mariah, I've never seen a more mannerless person. What, the, what the fuck was that look at the window when we came late? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> was that necessary? That's the, that's the African mother walk of shame look. No, but we are. We are um, even this is on the pod. I'm apologizing. We are late. It's not gonna happen. Chaxi again. was late today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, our alarm was on, and then Chabet decided to just unplug my phone. Yeah. So I woke up to her phone charging. My phone was dead. Oops. Yeah. We would have literally woken up at noon because we slept like at five in the but morning. But you know what the best part is? Mm. We're getting a fire album. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Chabet, Jan- Chabet was the best looking person at Folk Fusion yesterday. After me, come on, nah, nah, bro. I looked better I saw than Chabet. Look, but she really did. I look looked nice. better than Chabet. I said, no, you I didn't. looked better than Chabet. No, Chabet no. was looking nice, but all the stylists were like. Yeah. Hey, Nicole, like, wait. No, you know, she, nah, really, she did look cute. No, I, saw, I saw her features. She, she did. She did. But again, I looked better than Tibet. So but she did we were saying, we were saying, Erosh was backstage writing music. <laughs> I learned Chebet TV. I go like, full fusion. Yes. <laughs> it's giving me confusion. Chebet will go like a poor She looked at me. Yeah, she did. She did, actually. Mm. How was the vacation? Hey. I tell about my week. I had a beautiful week. I tell about it. How was the, how was the vacation? In the words, and how many how many rounds of sex did you in get? In the out? words of Steve, a simple boy. Yeah. 
Mimi ni message kuliwa. Na mimi nimechukua sasa mani nani. He says that. Where were you guys? No, it was just something very low key. Tikwambi. I just told you lose lips sink ships. How many rounds of sex did you guys have? Ai. What loose lips are you talking about? Mm. You you decide the context. Mm. <laughs> also, unajua if you don't give us context, we'll create. Create. Yeah. Maybe create. Maybe I, think, I think you guys were in Ivasha. No. Nice. Z. No, in Nairobi. It was a boring vacation. No. Yes, I wasn't even in Nairobi. I told you guys I was not in Nairobi. So where the fuck were you? Si kwambi. So she was at Amboseli. Yeah. No, not Amboseli. That's too far. She was in Nairobi, I promise. I was not. She was at Ole Sereni. She she literally walked to Ole Sereni. It was in a staycation. It wasn't a staycation. If it was, I would have told you. I don't get staycations in Airbnbs in Nairobi. We leave our apartment. You leave your apartment. We go to another apartment (laughs) (laughs) to spend money there. But yeah, it was it was really nice. Yeah. Very low. So a new a new a new guy, someone you know. No. It's just one of my two little two people. Man, I hope I, I hope you're having protected sex because you're fucking so who many people. To, who told you? Listen, <laughs> and that's what I'm going to talk about. Who told you? Anyway, we don't mind. We don't no. mind the young checkmate. Who told you? <laughs> the youngest checkmate. <laughs> so Mara is pregnant. I'm not. <laughs> I do. I do. Okay, you, you'll be pregnant soon. Were you ovulating? They're not you're fucking. Were you Are ovulating you? on your? Yeah, but still. Mm. You're ovulating and you still had unprotected. I sex. didn't. Who told you I did? I'm saying. Who <laughs> told you I did? Who, who, just say, if who you don't said us, I if did? If you don't give us context, we'll you create. Will get, yeah. 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 You know we're creatives. Let's, let's swing with your narrative. Me, I need a checkmate to come through for me, bro. I haven't been laid in a while. Poorly. <laughs> any checkmate. Any checkmate is a wongo. I said to have any checkmate that I can give it. Any checkmate, reach out by the end. And we'll do a staycation. As long as Azad is out of town. Mm-mm. Anyway, so you've sent uh, me Azad's contact. Yeah, I have. Okay, cool. So we call Azad. So I'll, I'll call. Tukona, we have some updates from your episode 70. 71. 71. Is the one you did this. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was Spotify. <laughs> yeah, I know. Spotify means out. <laughs> yeah, so me, I was, bro, I was in, I was in Eldoret, I was in Kitale, I was in Kisi, I was in Kisumu. I couldn't get cool. Then in Nairobi. And I still didn't, even, still didn't get laid. But I met some checkmates. Which was nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think I sent a MC Oko. I'm like, damn, this podcast. Eldred met some guys at Eldred, met some guys in Kisi. That was beautiful to see. That That's yeah. nice. These guys would tune in from those areas. So MCA will go to Airbnb and then go to ADHD. Then I could not charge a type C. Ah, C mini. Mini to me iPhone. Mini to me an Android app. I don't think so. Ah, then not. Oh, then you need charge a type C. Hakuna chat chat kiba na what the fuck I did again. Kwani ume launch kitu kwa tuju. What was what happened? Wait, wait mm. I think you, you shared something. I saw something on a Twitter about the Kawash. Oh yeah, so hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> so on Friday, I'm I'm in Karen. Mm-hmm. We've gone for something and then we decided to have lunch with my buddies. Mm-hmm. So the place we're having lunch, I, my car was dirty because I never leave the house with it. So often. Dude, your car never leaves. I don't never know why you leaves. have that car, actually. It <laughs> never, never leaves. I don't know. You drive it once It never leaves. It never leaves. And I want to buy another one. <laughs> what for? Because the same is used to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, me in a drive TV car wash, I was like, okay, so guys are having lunch here. Let me get my car washed. Mm. Then get TV and then the guy's like, Madam, make a gari up a candle. <laughs> and then I was like, maybe it's the tint. Nika shakio. I go like, Madam, apa. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I chucked my, I chucked my beautiful shades like, excuse me. Purr. Purr. Alafa kanambe, oh, sorry, sir. Nika ka gari up a candle, which is not the first time that I've been. What? Let me tell you, the, the, the weirdest one was in Costo. We were going to Moonshine, the, yeah. the bar. Alafo, see, you know in Costo, you were like in Costo. Mm-hmm. What do you know? Basically, you don't know. Of course. I never wear booty shorts. Don't take this episode as... But I never wear booty shorts and vest. Alafo, I went to the bar. Alafo, there's two bouncers. So the, the guy bouncer, I'm going to call him. 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 
What? You collect Buddha. <laughs> ah, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even pat me down. <laughs> that is crazy. What yeah. do you mean it's crazy? I mean, Mwangi, Mwangi, Mwangi is... Uh, uh, like, Mwangi looks like a girl. Do I? Does he? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need your mic to move? Your no, 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 it's good. Okay, I'm okay. comfortable. Yeah. I'm comfortable. But Gary Lingara. Guys, you know Praise God. God. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's, it's clean for the week. A weed is a weed. I'll have it packed there for another week. <laughs> or two. Equally to Vumbi. So you, so you guys get madness. me a car cover then. Just get. What? Listen, you get me a car look, cover. Just get, just get an automatic car. I'm sure you drive it more often. Let Julie. me tell you. 2023, you're going to change gears for what? I enjoy like, that who? shit. Nah, fuck that Speak shit. That's shit. That's annoying. Me, it's not and it's still not getting it's shit. Fun. Oh. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Mm-mm. No. You guys don't know. We mm. don't even want to know. Mm. <laughs> 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 no, 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 the Titanic, it's a fucking wreckage, bro. Like, it's like a graveyard. You yeah, know, there's definitely. people that died there. So mm. how the fuck is that tourism? I mean, once you've done what money can do for you, you look for something that you can... Yeah, but I'm just like... Okay, I'd understand if scientists wanted to go direct for research or whatever, right? Researching what? I don't know, bro. Researching... Do you know, do you know scientists and rich people have the same interests? Of course. Science, need for science. <laughs> for rich people, it's like... A bragging bad. rights. Not even bragging rights. But you know, like guys said, like there's someone who did the math and they were saying how um, this guy spent $250,000 yeah. per head yeah. mm, to go there. Mm. Even if you, um, they're all billionaires. Of course. So even if you dummy down to one billion, if all of them have one billion in their account, mm-hmm. it's literally like you spending like what? Ticket to Gondwana. Yeah, definitely. You know I mean? Yeah, like it's so small money. Them, I get it. For us, it's a lot of money. For them, mm. it's like it was just another like car- car- Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. and and I get the bit of being an explorer, wanting to do different things. I just I feel like there's things um, about the mysteries of the world that should just be let to be. Yeah. yeah. If you're going there for research, makes sense. Mm. If you're going for tourism to look at a graveyard, <laughs> the I fuck mean, you're gonna have a bomber story if they made it out. Truly. Show you Titanic, Z. The movie. No, no, no. May I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying bragging rights. Like, let me, let me play you this clip, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! What the fuck? Why the hell is this clip? I don't like. Okay, I'll play you this clip of this guy, and then we can talk about that story mm-hmm. and what happened and what didn't happen. The mad white How guy. How do you get likes? Yeah, yeah. Did you see? Is it's it, like, yeah, that man is frustrated. So upset. Look at this guy. <laughs> What is it with these billionaires and these fucking tubes? <laughs> tubes. Huh? We got a fucking billionaire or other rich people in a tube, a sealed tube. <laughs> Look, because they want to see the Titanic? You can just fucking rent it on VHS. It's a two cassette VHS tape, my dude. These fucking billionaires got in a fucking tube to go look. They paid a quarter million dollars each. A quarter million dollars. Some of you don't understand the concept of that amount of money. That is an okay house in Ohio. That's how much they just paid. They handed a guy, okay, and they got inside of a fucking tube. I cannot stress to you how they're like, it's a submarine. It's a submersible. It's a fucking tube. It's a sealed tube. It's riveted shut. You cannot open it from the inside. It has no windows. There is one button, and there's a screen. You're not even looking at the Titanic with your own eyes. You're looking at a screen that is has a camera pointed at the Titanic. And the guy running the company is so fucking dumb that he didn't even think to just fake going to the Titanic. You want to get a quarter billion dollars? A quarter million dollars from a billionaire. First thing, have a tube. Remember Elon? Remember Elon and his submarine idea to get those kids Tubes. out of the cave in Thailand? You know, when he called the guy a pedo, that whole fucking thing. Elon's smart idea, by the way, tube. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, tube. we're going to go to space. He built a tube. <laughs> it's all tubes with these people. Every billionaire is obsessed with tubes. So if you want to rip off a billionaire, here's what you do. 
Hey, man, we're going to go to the Titanic. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hop in my tube. <laughs> I know there's no windows, but you can watch the TV screen. Lower it down, like just under the water. And make sure it jiggles. Oh, run into some undersea turbulence. <laughs> Turn the fucking screen on. Play the beginning of fucking Titanic. <laughs> Pull it back up. And go, there you go. There you go, billionaire. You saw the fucking Titanic. And here's the thing about billionaires. Nobody fucking tells them no. Everybody says they're so fucking smart because billionaires just fucking drop money around them all day. The only time they care about the money when they're dropping fucking everywhere like idiots is when it goes to taxes to help us. So now they spend a quarter of a million fucking dollars to get into a fucking tube. <laughs> now we have to spend millions of dollars on our fucking navies of two nations to look for these god. Damn idiots <laughs> who just should have watched a VHS tape that was okay from a movie that is so old that fucking Leonardo DiCaprio wouldn't date it. Oh. What is it with these billionaires in these fucking tubes? <laughs> those but, he's honestly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he's on to something, though. Anyway, listen, guys, it's, it's a sad story because guys died here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then I cannot just get beyond how reckless this thing was built. Yeah. Truly. Every single person, like, I mean, guys have done dives to the Titanic a bunch of times. Yeah. Mostly for research purposes, right? Yeah. But then they use proper, proper submarines. Yeah. You yeah. know, that are tested, that are built. Bro, there's someone who's breaking down how submarines are built and how much time it takes and how much money is involved mm -hmm. and what goes... That's why they're so fucking expensive. Like, you, mm. people don't just have on submarines. You know what I mean? I saw, apparently, one of the... Like an employee who yeah. works at your Ocean Gate, yes. whatever. Yeah. Apparently, he had already said, like, this thing is not, it's not safe. Mm -hmm. he and he was fired. fired. Yep. And even the CEO, the guy who was the pilot of the thing, mm -hmm. had already said he'd cut corners. Like, at the... He did. I saw a video of him <laughs> saying how he cut corners, bro. It's like, at the, you're meant to break the rules, you know. And like, I'm not are people's to... lives you're yeah. playing with. And also, it's th so there's a, there's a guy who was explaining, actually the guy who was part of the producers for the movie The Titanic, who was mm -hmm. explaining how it's a very small community of deep sea divers who do such kind of trips, you know? Yeah. And all of them had actually reached out to these guys and said, yo, you it's guys, are, this idea. thing is not even safe. This is a bad idea. Do Don't not do, do it. it. Yeah. Then this dude... Who bought a lot of items from, from, a, from a, a camping, whatever, camping shop, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and bought a lot of equipment that was used uh, to build this fucking submersible. And this, this thing just went to implode in the fucking ocean, yeah. bro. Mm. First of all, I learned the meaning of implode through this thing. Do you know what implode? And I was so, I was so, um, what do you call it? I was so shocked, mm. which I'm not supposed to be, that it's the opposite of explode. Mm. So explode outward, implode inwards. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened to them. You yeah. didn't know that. I didn't know. That's that. why I don't have. A I girlfriend. didn't know the word. <laughs> That's why I don't have a girlfriend. I do ah. not have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> this story. So for me, it was so disturbing, bro. Really? Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Like why? I honestly was unnecessary, and I feel bad for the guy. I mean, the kid who wanted. The kid was with the dad, the 19-year-old yeah. boy. And he yeah. didn't want to go. I can imagine that he, aunt, yeah. he just wanted to please the dad, so he went. But I'm just, I'm like, that's sad. You know, at 19, you're still trusting your dad. Truly. But let's go on this thing. It's just a father bonding But also moment. the dad trusts because billionaires are there. This thing is safe. Like, that, that is some foolishness. Me, my dad would never put me in a submissible. Now, I can to me now. It's been real. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Chris Brown was supposed to be on that That's thing? a lie. Not For Chris real? Brown, Chris Brown. There's a there's a um, another ah. billionaire called Chris Brown. Oh me! Ah. But now guys are just cutting up, thinking oh, yeah. it's the musician. Well, I, saw the, I saw the musician yeah, thing. And, 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 and hey, hey, it was it was so much banter because I saw a video of you know that song for. At this is what Chris Brown said, and then to that song for. I don't wanna go no, there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had done that. We should one, never at, go there. I saw that one. Fifty nine minutes to the thing running out of air. At Chris Brown is like no. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. The, the humor was so dark. Yeah. Let me, by the way, the humor was so dark. There's a, lo, a, a, there's a lot of dark humor, but I'm just yeah. that's that's the thing, bro. My mind still cannot comprehend how this is a tourist adventure. Like, Truly. look at a graveyard. Truly, like, yeah. fucking human beings died there, bro. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's not something that thrills me. Probably thrills yeah. other people. Fucking go look at a graveyard deep in the ocean. Yeah. Like four four kilometers deep in the ocean. It's just like climbing the Everest. I'm like, you're going to uh, explore like a cave underneath the waters or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's 
People do that shit all the time. Yeah. Okay, all the six people in the world do that shit. But I'm like, <laughs> going, going to Everest is, that's fine because yeah. it's a fucking mountain. Yeah, I'm not but, going to look at, but people at still a die. vessel that killed, I don't know how many, how many people, people over 100 and years uh, ago and that is four kilometers in the ocean. Five feet. Do you understand how deep, like there's even no life. Oh, God, Jeannie, um, there is. Kaputa. There's life at the bottom of the ocean. Of course there is. Barely. You know me, I think... There's the life, ocean, just I, not human yeah. life. Yeah. And it's weird. I think of the ocean as God's dustbin. Like this thing work it's out. true, bro. Because <laughs> have I, you seen the creatures? At the time? I feel... Yeah. I, saw, I strongly I feel the video, ocean yeah. should be left alone, man. Like, yeah. fucking leave the, the ocean fucking ocean alone. alone, man. Yeah. And it's crazy. You so saw that there's a cruise ship that was, like, being... Like, waves and shit. No? This week, still. So guys were like, maybe we should leave the ocean al alone for some time. Because I think we've dumped so much shit in that ocean. It's jump. getting mud. And then guys are like, maybe just don't go to our water, whatever, anytime soon. Yeah. Because it's going it to be crazy. It might go very left. Yeah. Oh, but on top of that, I learned a new word. Mm -hmm. What is the fear of death? What is it? It's called thanatophobia. I'm never using that word. I am. I I'm so never am. using that word. I so am. It's but nice it's called what? Sanatophobia. Aye. Fuck it. It's nice to have when your date goes cold. Ukisema onujabiani uva briefs. Lafa ko se kuchia kongo like, do you know what sanatophobia means? Bas. Like, must just get the fucking dessert. I love to get your happy bill. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. This guy, the guy who directed um, Titanic, mm. he's called Jim Cameron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's been down there a few times. Yes. Or maybe he's sent her. I don't know if he's been there. He's been. been. Yeah. But he was explaining uh, his video, he was like this. Which means he was just telling this guy that was a dumb idea. Yeah. Because you know, Nikama Ukikosi Amzazi Allah for Fanyevi. Kevin Maral. They look at you and I'm going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Yes. Because even he was so frustrated in his that car one minute, whatever I saw. The clip, yeah. Yeah. He was just like, Ugh. There's so many things that take Sijinini for you to go down there. You have to have this and this and that and that. And then the, now there's the video of the CEO who was saying that he, I used carbon fiber, which was not the recommended material. Are you yeah. mad? Yeah. They should sue him. It's impossible. They, they yeah. can't sue. They signed all the things. I know. I know still. But then you can... There's loopholes. They can be sued for negligence. Sure. Yeah. Not for, not for that trip. Oh. By negligence. The state can sue them for negligence. Yeah, because if they didn't... If they use substandard things... I mean, but fucking who, video controller, bro. What? A control. A yeah, twenty nine. I could not believe it. dollars. I could not believe these guys are controlling. And the then control. it's like, oh, we have a bunch of those just in case one doesn't. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the whole thing had one button. Yeah, like a and green button. And one toilet at the back. By the way, how to Z. They're supposed to be under for what? How many? Nine hours. hours. Nine hours. Wait. Nine hours in that fucking tube. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. According to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And if there's some billionaires watching, I have a toothpaste tube in my house. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't want. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Oh my good. Well, so what? What? <clears throat> Let me just refresh today. this. Yeah, I'm really frustrated <laughs> and I'm very hungover. But the hangover is it, yeah. slowly. It's fading. Like, yeah, it's it's fading. Like 47% battery. Okay. Yo, and we still need to go see Goofy after. I'm a thousand then we still have percent to go to Gondwana. No, no. Then I fucking have to go to work tomorrow. After before Kesha, we have to do And I'm still not getting laid. list for the week. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like a you when problem, man. Get laid. Bro, I need to make a tube. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, uh, do you talk to Steph Capella first or we talk uh, uh, Eli? Steph. We talk Steph, right? Mm -hmm. So I just came across this clip that I thought was brilliant. Mm -hmm. So it's just Steph marketing his gig. So Steph has a gig coming up. <laughs> okay. And then he decided, he's a rapper, he decided to do it the way a uh, brilliant would rapper would do it, right? So I'll play... Okay, let me, let me play you. So it's a part, part one and part two, but I'll just play part one. Okay. I'm a job Kenyans. Yeah. Two times a week. For a few weeks, we were not able to go to work. Atuko tunafanya kitu yote, tulikuwa kwa nyumba tunangalia TikTok watu wakirusha mawe. And after all that, we didn't get anything from it anyway. Iliende kapita hivi. Tukiaza mambo ya cost of living, my friend. Angalia beya mafuta, 2 million. Unga ni 300 shillings. Skari, 4 million. Tunaisi na mnagadi. 
alafu tuende shaka hola. Watu wengine wananyimu wa chakula ati ndoenda waone Yesu mapema na Yesu wa botonga reni. Mzondi. Madam Ruto, the one and only first lady, amekuwa kiombea mvua, amekuwa kiomba corruption ishe, mvua inyeshi na watu wanaendelea kuiba. Lakini yosi yangu ya kuongea, hiyo tawachia wenyewe. Sauti Sol have decided to break up. Our boys! Our boys! Inauma, lakini tutazoea. Now let me come to my hometown of Kasarani. Wakisema the roof is on fire, sherehe imeshika sana, sherehe ni moto. Watu wanaruka! <laughs> But when I say yeah, it, I'm the bad person. <laughs> Madije! Madije! Eh, hata sita gusa hawa. Ataka kucheze mbo za hawa. I love that ending. <laughs> This is a patriot is still brilliant. But I thought this was funny. <laughs> And Steph will come to the show. Steph and I got my story. <laughs> we'll pull up for the show. Have you been to any Steph Capella show? No. He's amazing, bro. He's sick. No. He's sick. <laughs> Let me even check that for this show. We just plug it in because of Steph. Should I come to show, bro? It's our. Oh, 8th July. Uh, he's going to have a show at Gold Nairobi. Wait, tickets for Gold Nairobi. Gold Nairobi is a place. Oh no, it's an it's event. event. Uh, Steph Capella tickets at hustlesata.com. You can check out tickets on his page. on uh, on his page. Ah, fancy fingers. Kumbi alikuwa me comment up. Anyway, manesa nda mo ne. Ah, I'm some too tough. I think I'm sure that is in response to South Soul. Our boys, our boys. This is a kind of South Soul on a capital na sisi. Now we're going to show accounts. Do you know wongo? But maybe we're going to ask. Maybe we're going to ask. Maybe I can answer. The impossible is possible, man. So Eli, Mara, you you take mm. you take this away. This is Mimi. Eli, I don't know what to tell you. No, me nili am kana nikapata. This someone I know. The post has been deleted. Oh, you didn't say anything. I did. See, yeah. after the whole bold situation that happened with Shiro Moriuki's daughter yeah. and what not. Mm. So suddenly to Namka, he's there campaigning for bold to safety measures, do nini or with a promo code or something like that. So guys are just like really like mm. really The poster, like, I, I saw the caption, it was around the safety features that you can use for both. Yeah, um, but guys are just like, in, yeah. bro, but is think, this really the time? More certainly you shouldn't be talking about this because only Samanini, you'll take the check. I didn't say I'll take the and check. And take the trolling in Zanzibar. <laughs> 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 I said I'll take the big That's check. That's what Eli did. Oh my God. Eli took the check and took I the took trolling the in Mombasa. Exactly. No. Pole, pole. <laughs> Kwani, you think everything I say on this podcast is serious? <laughs> But honestly, do do but honestly, if um after the incident that happened, right? No, if course. those guys come calling, are you taking that check? That was like, genuine, bro. Yeah, no. Read the room, bro. For like, sure. bro. So no, I had to take the check, but they let me advertise in like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they need it. Was of course, they need it immediately. <laughs> They're like, this has to go up today, bro. Like literally. So, so of course, Twitter posted screenshots before he deleted, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> Kenyan dictionary. Comment. This is now on the post. Mm-hmm. This is the Kenyan definition of lack of shame, bro. This is not it. No, but, but I l- I like that even like people that we consider what we call them like, influential. Yes. Yeah. Were actually in the comments telling him that yeah. Yeah. the way that is actually even Magunga up. is here. My brother, read the room or better still listen to your followers in the comments. Yeah. Uh, Sharon Mashari is here. I don't know Ilai Mwenda. Uh, I don't know. Ilai Mwenda Kenya Ball still makes me feel uneasy. Mm. Just being transparent, I think they should do better vetting of drivers. It's a lot of uh, even Shae is uh, uh, no, Sharon is here. A bunch of everyone is here. Bro. Like, It was the that? first time I saw people like calling people out on Instagram. Yeah, because normally that happens on Twitter. Truly. Yeah. Because on Instagram, what are you going to love in light? Hey, no guys went in oh, and guys were like, "Shame on you!" Yeah. I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa." But it's crazy. I think it was ill-advised. But also, I don't like the negativity that came out of it. You yeah, when tell, guys you, started yeah. going in on now you at his content and you could tell who and was what not. Yeah. Yeah. On his content. Yeah, you know, man, I don't even watch your show. Yeah, oh, I Which can't show? take advice. Oh, man, his pod. Yeah, I can't take advice from somebody who has a turtle neck. I'm just a turtle neck. You know, that's ill advice. Yeah. You, you I get mean, what I mean? Ella is a drop content creator, bro. Yes. Like, I fuck with his content. And well. for a lot of people, it was like, this is the first time he's fucked up. Like, he's had such wholesome content. Yeah. And then he made a misdirection yeah, on this yeah. one. Yeah, he did. So you could always tell like who's calling him out and who's projecting their own insecurities. insecurities. Exactly. Because like, those guys were saying that this is why sorry. I don't fuck with content creators. Ah, uh, yes. So you said that. How are you on the comments? Like this is why I don't fuck with content creators. If you're on the comments, 
You're fucking with content creators. Yeah. Truly. Mm. Or maybe you just went took off to express it. Because, yeah. you know, the thing about online is people always are always mad about something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, guys, even now, if you go online, guys are upset about something. It could be something that <laughs> they don't even use, they don't care about, but they just... Yeah. It's like, it's a nice thing to be attracted over something, right? But you, um, Yeah. And you can always tell the banter from the projecting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When there's a summer to go like, you've been holding this in. Wait, wait, you need to heal. Mm. My only beef with content creation, bro, mm. is that, you know, you, you do what you need to do, get that back, but then at some point, it's such, you start, there's, there's a lot of people, influencers, who just feel like a marketplace. Mm. Like, I'm not even... You advertise everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'd understand if, if it's a very established brand, all you're doing is you need top of mind awareness. Yeah. So, you just want to be in people's faces because mm. you're already established. You know what yeah. I mean? Red Bull can do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Johnny Walker can do whatever they want to do. They're established. Yeah. Yeah. All they're doing is just top of mind awareness, right? Yeah. But then... I don't understand. Okay, for me, what wouldn't work is so today I'm selling soap. Tomorrow I'm say, I'm selling gin. The next day I'm selling uh, a, a related to you. The next time toothpaste. I'm like, bruh, but I do. Don't you use all those things? <laughs> no, but, I, but I'm just like, you wake up, you shower, you use no, toothpaste. But more, you, go you to your one house, person, uh -huh. you one person, honest, I'm a, I, I don't even have a problem with that. You can do different brands, but today you can't be telling me use this brand of soap. In three weeks you're telling me actually no. Use this Here's brand this of one. soap. Because now they paid me. I get you. The really established brands usually have like those caveats in their contracts. Mm. And they'll tell you like, if you're promoting this brand of soap, which is ours, in the next maybe one year, you can't promote any other brand of soap. Mm. And it comes also with some extra cha-ching. And it's okay. Yeah. But you can't tell me for a year... Use this brand of soap. And then next, then next year, year you're telling me, hey, but then... people change minds. How many brands of soap have you used? Because initially... Hmm? Once, that have is you a used Geisha since you are born? Yeah. <laughs> of course. That's a personal choice. But as you grow, you... But yeah. I would not, if I'm an influencer, mm. also you need to understand this. I need to relate with you to some extent. Yeah. You can't just hawk everything and expect me to believe that at it truly... I get you. Yes. Here's, here's what I think. I think it's an industry that, at the end of the day, comes back to ethics. True. Yeah, because there's some people who look at money and they forget what they're about. You know, true. You need to be purposeful about the brand you're promoting. You need to believe in it. You need to be honestly authentic about it. Yeah, because not everyone does that, bro. Yeah. People just take money it's for it. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm like, bro. Regardless of what happens, like I'm not taking a check from Blue Moon because I'm not fucking drinking yeah. that thing. You know what I mean? What if it's a really nice? Yeah, exactly. Check? I'm not taking it still for real. Yeah. So so for what? So for, what for? for what for? For what for? No, for me, like genuinely, yeah. it has to be a brand I fuck with. Yeah. Like if I don't fuck with it, that, I'm sorry. And bro. you believe in because you know you know what you would do with that yeah. brand, not just because yeah. they're cutting a check. Yeah, like like if I'm going behind a brand, I really wanna be like I really wanna Parted, be genuine Parted, about it. Like truly, this is something I consume, yeah, this is something truly. you're gonna catch me off guard using. Yeah. I know so many influencers who promote stuff that don't even they yeah, when, when are promoting booze and you don't even drink. So what are you telling me about this booze? Why do please? you use calligraph? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> and number Ni nine. Ni wengi, forget, it, forget even musicians. I know, I know I'm talking mean, about yeah. like even basic influencers. Yeah. At you, do you drink? No. Uh, but you're promoting 99 brands. So how am I supposed to sit and watch your video and be like, truly, yeah, and you believe in and this you're, you're making fake cocktails that don't even drink. Yeah. Fuck that shit. And I, I used to see like, even these influencers who create a fake story. Like, oh, you guys know I've been struggling with acne. You're like, Have so you? I got this skincare brand. Mm. You no, you me? can struggle with acne, but please tell me for real, it is this thing mm. that actually cleared. Because you can't tell me it's this thing. Yeah. And in the long run, I come to discover mm. you barely even use that yes. product. You know, that's why nowadays, <coughs> when you do promo online, you have to say it's an ad. Mm. It's legally, you have to say it's an ad. It's not legal. It's it's just the bigger brands have adopted it as... Mm. Like, like in, in the, in the US, it's code, legal. Yeah. Yeah. Really? We, we covered a sort we of Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Who was, yeah. was fine because she didn't oh, say she didn't it, it was an, an ad. ad. ad yeah. So now you're making guys... Because when you say it's an ad, then now I'm looking at it very different. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at it as, okay, you've been paid to Do tell this. me about this yeah. product, it's right? Easy. If it's not an ad, then I'm genuinely probably going to... Yeah. Truly. Uh, Truly. Whatever. Consume and, whatever you need. And I Truly. think it's a nice disclaimer when you start your captions or whatever. You're like, hashtag, hashtag ad, ad. paid promotion or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I know from the jump, you're fucking paid to Truly. tell me whatever you're going to tell me. Which Truly. is okay, but the content has to be one, authentic. Authe you can't tell me like, Chucks, you can to the Imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> exactly, imagine. <laughs> Imagine. I don't use it. <laughs> no, the one, the one I that... do not I'm use it. Like, there's a barber shop in Kilimani. They have nice fades. Like, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, was, there was one that I actually saw and guys were just like, what? I think it was this guy, Kinuthia, this TikToker, yeah. and he was doing an ad for pads. Guys were like, hmm? Maybe he uses pads, who knows? Yeah. Maybe that's how he sleeps at night. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. be authentic about what you're promoting. Unless you're Azad. Only Azad can promote whatever she wants. <laughs> Only Azad has a pass to promote whatever Azad wants. <laughs> I'm actually rooting for you. <laughs> I know, at this point, hey, Uncle Umesim. The agenda, Ooh, hey. you know what the agenda is, Azad. Was, three plus one. <laughs> Ume force. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used this thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't forget this is episode whatever. Oh, you did the intro. That's at the beginning. Intro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we didn't that's do the intro. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. We'll 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 do the. I'll do the intro. We'll do that. Just we'll do it. That's before we talk about the main agenda of today. As yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as that support system. Us. <laughs> It's hard. Ah, actually, uh, Kwambie. Mm-hmm. Uh, M- Mwende. Mm-hmm. That's her name, right? Yes, Mwende Mashaya. Mwende, man. I love you, but I'm going to g- pick a gunshot. Come Don't do that as a delay. <laughs> hey, I'm a kufa. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Not as a... Uh, do that to anyone. Oh, my but, yo, gosh. Like, honestly, was, right? Yeah. We've had guests here. Mm-hmm. And I've, I have had conversations with some of the guests who are like, yo, we can't talk about this and that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So if from the jump, we agree that is not going to go on the show. Why are you bringing it up? Why the fuck are you bringing it up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Mutora is coming in the afternoon. So if Mutora says prior, yo, I'm, is a, yeah, I'm comfortable coming, but I don't want to talk about X, Y, Z. And then Mutora sits here, and then, then we just bring it up. And then they walk out, and then you, you're mad, and you're you offended. go online, and you... Truly. And then, yeah. And I'm like... I'm like... I'm like... for your show. No. When she's bringing yeah. the rating sim Toto. Yeah. But when she steps, when she fair. walks out. And also because it's Asia. Like, where? <laughs> <Mwende Bana. laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you, but do. Hey, Mungu wetu. Ah, Calm down. Let me tell you. you if to... anyone walked out of that, of any show, would never have cared. But this fucking Asia. <laughs> where, Bana? But I don't know. It was, let me say, this was a bit of a beige flag because guys are like, okay, this, this was supposed to be, I mean, the Talanta Hella thing, that's a, Public, it thing. is, it is. Regardless, yo. But if you don't want to talk about, you know, you have conversations with someone who's interviewing you before. Yeah. And and you're like, I want to discuss A, B, and C, and D. This is off the topic. We yeah. can't discuss this. Yeah. And you have a mutual agreement before you go on air. Yeah. Secondly, I saw like a lawyer's perspective on it, mm-hmm. and they said this is an ongoing case because someone sued, um, the government, MSG, the ministry, or whatever. Oh wow. Yeah. So that that's why like shit happened. Mm. So the lawyer was saying. If you're involved in an ongoing case, you, you can't, can't talk be, about you it. can't talk about it on public forums. That's true. So maybe even that was what, one of what, the reasons. Yeah, one why. of the reasons. And then also, like this was very targeted to us. She was not the only babe on that. Thing. True. <laughs> you could have asked yeah. any other. And person also, about it's not it. her project. Yes, she was also she appointed. Was selected. Yeah. yeah. So if, now, yeah, if Mwende was selected for that position, she'd have taken it. Yeah. But also, if I'm Azad. If this is a position I was, I was appointed for, right? Mm-hmm. Like I'm not coming. I'm like I'm not. I'm not going places, speaking on something that I'm not part of. Like yeah. I was Truly. just appointed. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're not gonna come on the podcast and start talking about whatever company you work with mm. under what authority. You know, mm. I fulfill mm. a certain obligation within the company. And that's that's that. it. I do not represent that company. Yes. Yeah. So I can only say as much as maybe my role is involved. But then mm. it's an ongoing case. Uh, even if it's not an ongoing case, mm-hmm. if I don't want to talk about it I for just whatever don't reason, talk about yeah. it. It's that you know, simple. maybe she had a terrible experience there. She doesn't want to talk about but it. She didn't even assume office yet. But altogether, truly, that's her preference. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Simple. It and also, if we agree that this is not gonna go on the show, why the fuck are you bringing it up? And then I didn't like the way she was trying to be sleek. Did you guys watch the the video? I saw this uh, the little uh, the clip. Mm-hmm. Of course, I had to see. Of see to look not at of Asia. her walking out. Yeah, I watched to did look you, at Asia. Did you listen to the audio? Yeah. No, 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 no. Did you listen just, to what uh, happened before she walked out? Because she was trying to be very sleek. She wasn't being very busy. sleek. No, she you know, was. She was once. trying to. But that's why Asia was like, you know what? There are things that I can talk about. Things that I can't talk about. And first of all, Mwende, I told you. Yeah. Specifically, do not ask me this question. And she said, and this if you is, do that, I will walk out yeah, to my this brand and whatever. I'll walk out. I don't think that's being slick. I think that's, no, 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 that's I'm standing your ground. Oh, okay. I'm talking about Mwende. The yeah. way she was trying to bring oh, in yeah. that, she was being very slick about it. Yeah. Mm. And also, it's fucking Azad. Like, how, I, I can't where? emphasize this enough. <laughs> <laughs> All gunshots, but no backshots. Mwende, I'm a Jumaulini. Listen, the last two minutes, Paul. It's because I'm keeping myself. Like, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, what is what is the term? What is the terminology? The bibli- like I cannot. 
What is the biblical terminology? Mm. Mutora should tell us. Dude, you don't even read the Bible, the Bible so what do you mean biblical terminology? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, I, I inspired people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who wrote the Bible is Bro, actually. you don't even yeah. read the Bible. But yo, honestly, we need to get Azad here, bro. I don't know. Me, I'm Jeff. calling you. The number you gave you the me, number. I'm calling as, uh, I'll say, uh, yeah, I told you. I'll sorry, be like, sorry oh, to next week. Sorry, yes. this is uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> what is us? Azad support system. <laughs> Guess We'd love week. to have Azad on the show. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. That would be fire, though. Jam. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, my goodness. She'd be looking so beautiful. Oh, God. Chakse chak fun. And she'll be sat here. No, you, Mara, you'll sit there. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just saying. Not happening. Hey, hey. This, this is for the. Chakse ya I think Chakse taka ki face him. Wait. Ah, uh, uh, anyway, man, shout out to Azad, man. Whatever. So Azad is the only one who can advertise whatever Azad wants, even yeah, if she doesn't it's... believe in it. It's fine. Azad so, has a green, yeah. a green, a green light to do whatever she wants. Okay. So if she had if all these other guys, okay. to cause our own Kimanzi, brand Mutinda. <laughs> oh, Mutinda is coming yeah. in, in oh, July. What? Yeah, that would be a fun. Mutinda was Jana at Folk Fusion. I left the like, Oski Baridi was in a t-shirt. It's like I want to join. Cut my skirt. I was like, we may be on a jump. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mutinda's First coming on all, the pod. I'm excited wait. for that episode. Can women start carrying jackets to concerts that may rain? Yeah. Do you carry jackets? Yeah. Only always, Azad always is sure allowed not to carry a jacket. Oh, the rest of you carry jackets. <laughs> I always carry. The exception is Azad. Yeah, only Azad. Come on, Azad, I can't I'm sure that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. You're there, that's Jin Tavani. It's fine, yo. All, 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 all the um, stylists, an Azad episode is coming up. I'm down <laughs> to put some money. <laughs> hit me up. Oh, if you want to style me for Azad's episode, hit me up. Where do you want to go? Like, you know what I'm going to do? Keep me, knowing. Me, I'm going to say, Congratulations. I'm going to say, 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 I'm preserving myself. I don't know, Mama, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to do you uh oh the recording academy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you cover that now? Or do we Yeah, we can Yeah, talk let's about talk it. about recording mm-hmm. academy, bro. Uh let's call Faye. Is Faye in the country? Let's see. Let's try. So it. so it there's it. Faye. Um okay, so currently I know Victoria Kimani is um is a member, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Then uh we have Faye. But then Saudi Sa- the difference with Saudi Soul is that they are voting members now. Mm-hmm. Them they vote. They've been They'll be part of the guys who vote for yeah. whoever is nominated or wins mm-hmm. the Grammys, which mm-hmm. is a win. Because mm-hmm. remember, also we had Genge now reco- yeah, recognized, Genge recognized. Yeah, for the Grammys. I don't know, July, do we get influencers? Do we do our legends? Like Rose the Edition. Juakalis? The, I think no, it would be nice to do legends. Yeah. Because Juakali is very hot about this topic now. He's yeah. been tweeting daily. Daily. And Juakali has been on Twitter, but he's been on Oh, so now we have the same paragraphs. So we get yeah. Joa. Yeah. yeah. So I call Joa Kali then. Mm. Um, so yeah, so let, let me call Faye. Let's see. You. Shout out to Faye though. And Joy uh, Wayodi. Okay. That's my and girl. Who now? Shout out to Joy Wayodi. She also made the academy. I'm so proud nice, of you, girl. Nice. Let's call Faye. Let's call Faye. And Faye is hot. She's Thank pretty. You. Allah? Ah. I'm going to block you. Faye? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, her phone is off, Mama. She's not in the country. No, there's snowball on a network. What? La haula binvu. What the fuck is going on? Let me see. Is she on DND? Could be on DND. But DND to come here, you're busy. Mm. Let's see. If it's not going through, I'll... yeah. Why do I have barely? Okay, now I have bars now. Eh. Hey. I mean, you're gonna try a fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. What the fuck? Where, where are you? Uh, I mean, I'm calling back our WhatsApp. Sasa, ingi, ingi. Maybe she's we can call country. Joy. Okay, you want to call Joy? Because maybe Joy. I don't know Joy. Calling. It's, so, what's up when it says WhatsApp. calling means. I think, yeah. I think, yes, it's supposed to say ringing. ringing. Oh. I didn't know. Hey! I don't call people on WhatsApp often. I'm supposed to say ring, not calling. So, okay. You know, I wanted to call Faye just to understand what that means we can, for we her. We can try, Joy. Sawa. So, you, you have to yeah. lead, lead the conversation then. No, no, just call her. How? The cable lead. I mean, I don't know. So I'm just going to call her put Nianza, could you introduce Sasa? A whole hey. lot introducing myself. Hey, what Joy, I, Joy, you're on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> no, just you call her. Just dial it. 
There you go. Ah, yeah, wake up. Which would be the, yeah. So what are you, what are you, what are you gonna ask Jay? Because me, I was, me I had five questions. <laughs> for no, we just ask her like what, like what, <laughs> what does she do? Yeah. What does she do? She's a PR. PR. Oh, she does PR. Mm. Music. Specifically? Yeah, for like almost half of Africa. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sorry, say that. Color. Does she know you? Yeah. Yes, she That's knows like me. Ring, say, Who's this? Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> it's ringing. Mm. Joy Wayodi. She has now she has to do PR for us. It's a beauty. Max volume on the phone. Oh, oh Joy Peak. I just spoke to what? her Thursday. How, how is Faye's number not going through? Let me text Faye. I'm like, yo, call me back. Joy, Fuck, pick up. Can I told her we're gonna call her today. You it's told her. Mm. It's, it's I told her. Them. <laughs> anyway, cool. So, um, I say congratulations to Joy, to so everyone uh, in, at Saudi and so, Faye, right? Yeah. Oh, so wait, you, you mentioned something about them being able to vote. Yes. Is Joy, that how the Grammys work? Um, I've never Joy yeah. told me, yeah. at the, there's three whatever. So I think Saudi and Joanna, they can vote for. Nominations and winners. Hey, yeah. But basically, even them, they can do the same thing. But you told me, her and Faye, they do the second beat. Like, they're the ones who just submit the songs that they feel oh, should Oh, like, should win a grammar. Yes. Yeah. But now Saudi can decide. Yes, can decide. They are voting right Yeah. Like, so then they're tier three, her and Faye are two. Because even Victoria is not in the country. She's in Congo. Uh -huh. Would nice. have called her maybe, but... Okay. It's she's fine. also in the Grammy, whatever. She is. It's she's been... Class of 2023, Emma? No, she's... No, she's been... Okay. She's been for so once, years now. Once, okay. if you're 2020, I'm trying to understand if like Saudi are class of 2023. Mm. So after do, this Grammy, it's a done do they deal. Vote for life, am I? I don't it? know. Yeah, because okay. now is it is it that the team gets bigger when, yeah. when they add more people? Yeah. Is it for I don't know. That's those are the questions we'll we look asked. it up. If you know about it, just tell us. In the I comments. don't see I don't see this yeah. being far away from Aniko in a few years. True. Yeah. Right. True. Yeah, she's done so much within music. She, 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 I, you know. But did she? A question is, did she submit? The, like her, uh, yeah, because she Joy told me you're supposed to submit, and apparently oh. you can really wait for a long time. Yeah, but because they keep tracking like what you're doing. If you say like you're in PR, you're in whatever, they track mm. how much you're doing for the music and da da da. So and yeah. then they tell you. Even mm. even even Asia deserves to be oh, to be there. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ, <Chucksy. laughs> Are you gonna date her? Is that gonna be your girlfriend? Jesus, no. you wouldn't date Asia. I probably would. <laughs> I take on like I take her somewhere nice on okay. a date. Yeah, for sure. And, I take Asia on a dinner, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Asia, if you're down, man, <laughs> just a dinner. <laughs> 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 the, the, the day that Asia gets Shaxi, I'm gonna be like, okay? yeah. the day that Asia gets Shaxi, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I watched the podcast. Let's do it. I am. I'm tapu more. I'm tapu more. Ah, yeah. Uku. Stylist, we start making. Chaki. I'm serious. Yo, stylist, start making those clothes, bro. I need outfits. <laughs> Stay ready. 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 Kind of understand if if I was in the false position. Okay, first of all, okay, let's give context. Yeah. So, from what we understand is right now, Evolve says he doesn't know which gun shot him. He mm. didn't see Babu with a gun. Rah, rah, rah. Mm. But if I was in a we false, saw. yeah, we, we, saw. we all know what we saw truly. Yeah. Mm. But if I was in a false position, first of all, Babu has power. Babu has money, and you know how the system is. By the time you get justice, dude, it's mm. like forever. Mm. Easy way out. You just take the bag and keep it pushing. I mean, he's been taking care of Evol for the longest time, so... But it's also just alleged. Am I, it's because it's got documents like, okay, I gave you an apartment, I paid your bills. I no, no, for, I forget stipend, that. Yeah. But imagine you're being hard and you're like, you want justice. Being, Let's be real. If this was a normal... No, I'm just saying, imagine it's a normal occurrence. It's not Evol, it's just a random person trying to get justice. How long would it take? It would take forever. If I, if exactly. I, if, I shot, if I shot someone... And it's on record, and we can we can play You've that tape. Man, that be in already. You're not in mm. power. That's Ukona, yeah. Ukona kapesa, but you don't have power. Ukona kapesa. That's why we're Ukona saying. Chupesa. That's why we're saying. Me don't attack Azad. That question. Ah, ah wait. She's bowling. If you say Azad one more time, it's because the main camera mukuka ya pa kikia ago. Me, I thought me. I've I've been I've been 
unfortunately involved in a case and I've been cross-examined by a lawyer. What did can, you do? No, I don't want to talk about it on, on here, but lawyers... Because when they you right now. Lawyers... <laughs> ah! <laughs> no lawyers can be fucking ruthless. Like me, like when I was being cross-examined, I felt like leaving that dog and just jumping on this nigga and fucking punching him in the face. Yeah, I thought fucking him. I was like, hey, what the Bro. fuck do you want to fuck him? <laughs> was it the dog? Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Little the dog. Anyway, <laughs> lawyers can be fucking a lot and you know because they look for because I, I don't know maybe i'm wrong but lawyers look for loopholes yeah that's, that's how you win cases exactly so maybe i'm i'm sure for this particular case i don't know if anyone came forward as a witness but dj evolve is probably the his own witness you yeah. know because he was involved he was there yeah so if they get him to say things like i didn't see a gun which might be true because you know everything happened so fast so yeah it was like for him boom, it was boom. just like we're arguing and then i wake up in hospital yeah mm. for him there's like a lost moment yeah but if the lawyer can ask him questions like did you see a gun did babu shoot you did he? it strengthens their case on mm. their end which is unfortunate True. and then like i said poverty is so dehumanizing at some point if you look at um if if the light at the end of the tunnel is a bug and you're like this is the only thing i'm getting out of this mm. I'll not get justice. Bob will never go to jail. Yeah. Um, he'll never get whatever. And then all this money. I don't believe that nigga has spent CG. He said 56 54, million. 54 million. Whatever. Who? 50 mi- Babu. Babu. On so DJ Evolve, yeah. Why are you in But there could, there could be a possibility. So my question is, right? Uh-huh. Um, let me switch up the scenario a little bit. If Evolve, from the incident, Evolve passed on. Mm. So then... He's dead. See, so mm. you're saying he's probably now his only witness. Mm. If assuming he died, because dead people don't talk unless yeah. Azad. So, oh God. if evolve anything happened and he died, see, mm. then what would have happened in court? Nothing. That's a done deal. It's not a done deal. Because there's man, evidence of how he was man, shot and died. I'm saying if he was shot man, and died. I'm saying if, if our justice system was worked. Co- I'm telling you, nothing is going up. This man has power. Chuck, it's not about the no, money. I, I it's hear about you. the power. I'm not arguing about the power. I'm just yeah. saying that also... The state, if the state really wanted to protect Evolve, yeah. they, would they would have, have had done. a case against Babu yes, as well. But yeah. you know how the system is. He's part of the system. Mm. Exactly. But, yeah. This dude, did, this MP did mass baraza. Kwanza, he is in broad daylight. He literally killed someone. someone. This man is walking well, scot free. But we don't have a video of him killing someone. We have a video of Babu fucking shooting this there's guy. There's witnesses. There's witnesses. Chaksi, he was I know there's witnesses. Yeah, but no we don't no have visuals come of it. And... and... I mean, this other case, we have a video, bro. Like, yeah. it's there online. And then also, the uh, Babu's bodyguard testified against the case. And said what? He said that he he'd, he told Babu that his gun has an issue. It's due one week before. It's due whatever. But you know, like, by the time... I think people are... Like, like by the time Babu was shooting Evolve, he'd already broken so many laws. Like, hmm. mishandling a firearm carrying it into a public place, brandishing it. Like, before the actual shooting, yeah. you've already broken a few laws. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to be with a gun in a public place like that. So we're just going yeah, to just gonna assume Babu didn't shoot him out. Yeah. You're gonna, you're, you're, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, mm. you, as a, as a f- licensed firearm holder, yeah. there is, like, a conduct you're supposed to uphold. Yeah. So you're not supposed to brandish the weapon unless, like, you're in danger, you know. Yeah. Fa- what, what is the gun? Why are you in a club drinking? First of all, you're not S-U-I, supposed to be exactly. inebriated. Shooting under the influence. You're smoking shisha, you're drinking. Why are you in a club with a gun? Yeah. Why are you chucking it from the whatever? Why are you not supposed to have it? Yeah. Why are you brandishing it? Mm. Even if it goes off by accident. Why is it there? Yeah. Like, I remember this time, what's his name? Uyu DJ Mo. Nick D's brother. I remember that time when he was a uh, yes. thingy and guys just saw... The gun that was mm. yeah. in the back, and it was like a whole. Yes, he, he even went to court. If I'm not yeah. wrong, yeah, you're not supposed to in public places. So if I have, if I have my gun, I'm supposed to use it privately. No, keep it. The in reason car. I have That's a gun it. is to use it no. in public if I need to defend myself. Yes, I'm but, not defending against but, myself in private. What do you see at clubs when you go? Apoqua entrance. No firearms. No firearms. No, no whatever. There yeah. are places where, or you're supposed to declare and they keep it safe for you. Yeah, you know. But like why if, you, if you're in a place like... where you're not supposed to have a fire. I hear you. So me, yeah. me, my only question is, so now, based on how the case went, um, I mean, so I, un- I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Like, if um, maybe from Evolve's point of view, of course, this is this is money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. They've been, they just paid to squash this yeah. case. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if Evolve is not uh, pressing any charges, then nothing happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, if um, if you know for sure nothing is going to happen, if you Evolve, you take the money, Mm. But 
He's, he's, he's like, he, he, like he can't even walk. He's getting better. He's getting better. Be- we better. I thought he's paralyzed for life. Mm-mm. He's getting better. I mean, it's it's one of those unfortunate cases where you don't know what, what's going to happen. Obviously, his life is never going to be the same again. Truly. Of course. Yeah. Even if he gets to walk or whatever, he's not going to go back to like it's running. Total, truly. Really. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Mm. So, I don't know. What's bigger? Is it the bag or is it your life? But also, if you're not getting anything from it. But at this point, your life is depending on that bag. So I get you. That's mm. why I said poverty is so dehumanizing. Because if Babu shot someone in the same capacity as him, bro, this would have been a whole different ball. Game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He'd be someone if someone doesn't need the meeting. money, doesn't mm. need anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should be someone's boo in community. Yeah, yeah, Babu's cute. Yeah. He'd definitely be someone's boo in there. So. Would you fuck Babu? No. Okay. Miguna? No. <laughs> <laughs> Miguna has another case against Babu. I saw yeah. Miguna tweets that J. Babu allegedly killed someone. A lot of people. Yeah. There was so many people that Miguna alleged Babu killed. I saw because I follow Miguna, so I've just been seeing those tweets. Oh my god, that man is muted on my page. I don't even see nah, stuff. Miguna, no, you need to see Miguna's. No, if they can have the because his content is the same too. In Abuja, no. Miguna ni content ya songo but I'm a soma. It's true. <laughs> it's wild. It's true. It's true. No. It's educated. I only really love him when he's putting a sapasaris in place. Other than that, nye. Uh. Nye. <sighs> this is very sad. Mm. Oh, what did Banky W do? Oh, so, <laughs> so there's a Banky W song I really love. Which one? Yes, no. Using suits. Can you make my heart go pim 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 my heart beep beep beep? No. Another Would one, you be one. my lover? lover? Yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. yes. That's the song I love. That's okay. what you're gonna ask us yet. What? As yet? Me, but they. Okay, so anywho, from what I understand is. He's been, you know, everybody knows he's married to Adeswa. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Dude, and, they and have a, a movie, songs. Everybody. What? <laughs> Anywho, know. he's married to Adeswa. Mm-hmm. So apparently, there's a lady called Niola. She's also a singer and she used to be signed to his. How label. do you know these names? Dude, I told you I love Afrobeats. Okay. So, anywho, he was signed to his label, EME, mm-hmm. back in the day. But. Now it's like they've ha- they've always had a thing from way back, but now because he got married to this one, she's like the main side chick, or something like that. Yeah. So anywho, they've been messing around in Nini. So right now she's pregnant and she's refused to get an yes, and she's refused to get an abortion and yeah. she wants to come out with it. So she sent something to some bloggers and yeah, now it's a whole. You said she wants to come out with it, but we already know. Yeah, no, like she's threatening now to like come forward, forward, forward. <laughs> Or so like she just sent yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So yeah, so guys are just cutting up on social media like they can't believe Banky W is cheating. That is not cheating. It's so, so it's just sex <laughs> and someone <laughs> pregnant. No, but somebody who's, who's aborted twice, even me the third she and has. I'm yeah, I'm definitely of Banky. Yes. I'm definitely not removing the third. That's even Banky has a Trump said yeah. <laughs> like so, so the first time, second time, the third, third time is still. Came flying in. her in and out. Yani, it's, it's, it's drama. It's drama. But hey, the only win now is Davido and, and Thingy, Two-Face. They're just like, at least, for once, <laughs> the heat is not on them. <laughs> Nigerians yeah, are like I, 290 I mean, million, but only three people catch heat. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time. No, but this is constant. Like, if he's cheating news, it's always Davido to Baba. <laughs> Davido to Baba. At least instead, they're like, hey! <laughs> The breathing. Yeah. Kidogo uh, too. What's what's David's baby's called? Choma. Mm-hmm. And to Baba is Annie. Annie. Annie, yeah. Okay. Well, Annie, uh, Annie when you pick a gun shot The yeah. next time she can't. Annie and a she Ah, but anyway, Bank W like you know, like initially, mm-hmm. um is he signed with Kid, right? Yes, yeah, me. That's his old label. Okay. Still signed? No. No. It was with kids killed. Yeah, and this Niola chick. Yeah. Ah, uh, who's now pregnant of Banky? And yeah, she has a few a... songs of hers, and Banky W is actually the, the love interest. And yeah, now that I'm watching those videos, I'm like, that chemistry. Oh, she's also chemistry. a singer. Yeah, she sings. Okay. Clearly, it's just scary. You have you ever heard her songs? Yeah, don't even know. Ah, yeah. Is she like a popular singer? Yeah, she is. Okay, not popular, popular. She's yeah. like. Christian like Morgan like, popular. She performs like in small clubs. <laughs> you are the girl with the biggest fear. Yeah, German juice. Oh, yeah. Okay. They said she's. Cynthia I just know Morgan that one. Was that like a and one? that's the only yeah. song. Okay. 
ni kama break and less ah <laughs> love is weekend oh me i don't think those were singers those were guys warning us <laughs> love is weekend there are so many songs we didn't listen we were in the club like love is weekend <laughs> and then now you're in the house you're like yeah love, yeah, is, love weekend. is truly weekend <laughs> did you guys yeah. see the far the elvis show the far elvis show Ooh. that was nice but i've seen some clips mm-hmm. uh, but i saw they uploaded the whole show on youtube so oh, is it? Yeah. the jay z performance seen it. i saw the performance yeah, I don't, I don't that, that made me so happy did you guys see uh, jay z even ask guys to clap Yeah. On, the then, beat, then like, on the on beat though. Then it was like on the beat. Then they were very off beat. Then it was like fuck the clap. The clap. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not clap? Fuck me, you yeah, know. Yeah, I guess like a very straight forward thing. Yes. Aliwambia nyim na bo. What was the thing with his jacket? What was he doing when he hung the jacket on the side? The jacket was um so I'm assuming the jacket was part of the, the collection. LV collection, yeah. 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 So that's why he rocked it. Oh, and part of the collection was also like a boat bag. That was that a million shillings. Not shaped like a Titanic or something. Ah, what you want to get under your kit? Bag. What you get under your kit? The million bag was a different one. The one Pharrell was saying that mm. everything is gold. The one with mm. the lock. So the chain, even the zipper is gold. Damn. Mm. And then they, they 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 had like a padlock. That yeah, I saw the lock. I was like, oh, that's cute. Mm. Like, even the key is gold. I'm mm. like, shit. I can't wait to watch it. I mean, I saw the clips. I saw a lot of the celebrities from yeah. football Beyonce. stars, basketball Bro. stars. Rappers, I saw Dave walked. No, yeah, yeah, did Dave did the rapper from the UK. Ah, did nice. you even clips, bro? You saw yeah. um, Pusha T and the brother. They walk. Yeah, they were there. Yeah, what they were there. Louis Hamilton was tripped out. I didn't see anything. Hamilton else. was there. Yeah, I look on a Katia Kardashian. Team, like he literally went out of his way to say hi to her. Well, nah, we were just as the internet and then got stupidly crazy. Mm. So I look like, oh, Louis has a type. I'm like he said hi to her. Just But he does have a type if you think about it. Who has a type? Nicole Scherzinger kind of looks like him kind of I mean, yeah, it's okay. I won't blame him. Me if, I, if I'm the best driver in the world. <laughs> <laughs> What's your type? Me mimi mnajua my type is as it. Shut up. Me as long as you're funny of mine. Can I get ear muffs? Wait, I'm just say as it and slap it in my ear. Matha old Chaxi Jenner lost money. Where did your money go? What do you mean lost money? Yeah, I had That's money then I, I didn't have a wand of cash. Then I just didn't have it. Oh? I mean, he, he like he was and Poji kept telling you like you know your bag doesn't have like a zipper or anything. It was just mm. like a pouch. Na mm. umtu amefunga two dollar blada. Munichange. Send me money. I don't have money. So, so yeah. even this Aziad date, I don't know. What to do. Send me money. I know you're with Aziad. The ah, she'll she'll pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will eat. I'm sure celebrities do this all the time. Like you book a place, you go, you sit down, you eat. I feel like how much is the bill? It's in the house. Hey, Kenya. You think, no, you think, let thing. me. Hey, so, Kenya. Steven, who did we have on the podcast? Who said? Yeah, Chiki. But that's someone but that's, paid, yeah. not the restaurant. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I'm sure you want to tell me if you're Louis Hamilton. That's different. You walk into somewhere and then yeah. you just order a coffee. Now you pay for it. Definitely. You would, you would want to pay for it, but if someone mm-hmm. tells you you're Lewis Hamilton, the best driver in the world. If someone uh, says cool, house. but you're definitely paying for it. I'm but sorry. But you, you think celebrities don't walk around just knowing that ah, I'm not going to pay for this. No, nah, I don't, I don't sure. think so. I don't think so. I'm sure. I don't think, I don't think so. so. Not as a stingy measure. Yeah. They just know like you know no, I as, don't think as a so. celebrity I can tell you I don't walk into places. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, thinking that <laughs> there's, a, there's a video I don't know what celebrity it was but they were saying how they went for dinner and then Kanye was coming mm. and then when Kanye came they were taken to like the back part of the restaurant they didn't even know the restaurant had a back part mm. I love they sat there and then they brought the menu then Kanye was like I don't want the menu I want the shit that's not on the menu damn <laughs> I love this Sounds guy like I don't want to pay for dinner mm-hmm. but he didn't know Kanye was coming with like an entourage mm. <laughs> so now you imagine like You've said I'm paying for dinner, and then once I show up, Nakanye, now I say Flani, and then now you're like, oh shit, I was gonna pay, but I didn't know. Like, wait, Kanye, I, what do you think Kanye is on a god? Because I said the thing that's not on the menu, so you mm. don't even know the price. Nakanye and Nakatu kusumba. Two lines. You know that what's not on the menu. I love two lines of cocaine. <laughs> This is the shit that's not on the menu. Forget about it. Now, as if yo, ah, uh, I don't wanna do that. My my dream dinner is social house. Have this really nice steakhouse. Mm-hmm. That's how some wagyu steak that's 35 G's. Wagyu. Mm. Me yeah. too. At social hours. At social hours. Me too. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'll have to eat that food. I don't know. That's what I'll take as it. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> any day, I'm going to do it. 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 I
<laughs> I just want to know how good that stick is. <laughs> well, well, what, what is if you if you if you, if you dance like that as that video, the first one that <laughs> you up, I'll <laughs> take you. <laughs> Post that video. I drive. <laughs> Post it online. If it looks as nice, I'll <laughs> take you. And imagine at that point, as you're dark, no, she's really beautiful. Aqua me also na pesa. True. Actually, I'll I'll go like her last picture on Instagram. I'll check, I'll, I'll, I'll check her Instagram. Manager, I can't say my two. I check some of like photo. Taku nam DM kumbu nongen. I need to Peter something. Kawa. Peter Kawa. Ah, sis, sis, I'm to me DM. Well, sasa, lakini si umbo nongen to me two number Az. Because ni linyo mo number Az. William Banani, Mwenda. No. So call Mwenda with your number Az. No. Ay yo yo. Ah, uh, I think lastly, there's the thing you posted about the UK schools. Yeah, what the hell is that? Oh yeah, they're teaching. They've apparently they're including um, sex education, but now they're teaching kids about masturbation mm. and anal sex and anal well? sex. Yes, that's a that's a class monkey would thrive. I no, no, masking. <laughs> when you're saying kids, how old are they? <laughs> oh yeah, good to fifteen. Question. Twelve to fifteen. Yes, seems reasonable. Yeah. I mean, you know, as because that's they're, an age where they're already thinking yeah. of sex, then puberty. Yeah, but the why reason, gratify the thoughts? That's not, just you're not gratifying. It's education. Yeah, the reason there's a lot of irresponsible sex happening right now is because mm. sex was a taboo for us mm. until you're 18. It was why well, you not fuck, don't fuck, don't fuck, don't fuck, and then now you're 23. Then your parents are like. Why don't I have a grandchild? Mm. You're like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, and Spinning also, is happy. if if there's no. a lack of information. People become stupid. I'd rather a 12 year old knows about consent, knows about mm. sex. Mm. If they already know what annual sex is, teach them about it. Wait, okay. Boundaries, First of all, le- let me read the whole thing. So it says UK schools introduce annual sex and masturbation into lesson plans of nine and 12 year olds. I stand corrected. Mm-hmm. UK school children are being taught about annual sex and orgasms before they have reached puberty and set masturbation as homework. As revealed by secretive lesson plans, this follows the the mass Homework. so you go legal masturbate action. <sighs> the National Health Service is facing from a thousand families who claim their children were rushed into taking life changing puberty blockers by the Tavistock Center. According to Mail Online, many teachers are indoctrinating children with scientifically false claims about biological sex, presenting gender as fluid and furthering a narrative that people can be born in the wrong body. This comes after a concerned mother was denied. The right to see the content of the fi- of the lessons being taught to a 15 year old daughter in her relationship and sex mm. education classes, which became compulsory three years ago. Uh, that you uh, uh, you I need everyone to go home and masturbate. Bring some bit nah, of semen tomorrow. Nine so how are you marking? Year, nine to twelve year old. But that's what you said. Does homework? Come on, what did I? No, I but nine to twelve year old. Oh, the homework is like research. <laughs> I need to bring some bit of semen. Tomorrow. A nine-year-old. Mm. I feel like there's always ways to approach people who question. Because nine-year-olds, 12-year-olds, they're growing, they've started thinking, mm. they're exposed to a lot of things. Mm. True. So if there's a way to bring education in it, yeah. I don't know what... Me, no, I'm not a health expert or I... an education <laughs> expert, but if there's a way you can bring information to someone who has a curious mind, mm. do it. I don't think that should come from the school. That should come from a parent. Do, do because both, I know... You no. I don't. My child goes to school to learn what they need to learn. You don't have you a child. Anything about you don't, you don't have I'm a just child. saying. Okay. If this was me, <laughs> yeah. I don't want a teacher teaching my child certain yeah. things about sex. But that is my responsibility. But you see, that's it's 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 shared responsibility. Ba- no basics. Because the way we were taught, ovary, ovum. Um, no, 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 no. You you get what I mean? Teach no, the basics. I don't get the school system get. is. <laughs> you don't, I don't get, get, it. get the school system is standardized. A thousand kids, a thousand parents. They're all different. Mm. And it's okay. What I tell my kid, what you'll tell your kid is different. Mm. And it's fine. The reason we have school is because things are standardized. The people who parents are not present, Mm. Amma, they don't have the information. Amma, they're like in cults or whatever. There's different realities. So if they can get it from a standardized point of view, that's okay. It's it's, it's a very shared responsibility, Mara. Education is a shared responsibility, yeah. Mm. So that Mm. even the kid who doesn't have parents can get something. Mm. And also when they do the masturbation normal. No, that's what I'm saying, the basics. Because <laughs> I feel like that, because there's some things when you teach a child, that's creating curiosity. Uh, yeah. The children who really do not know what anal sex is, why would you want to open that kind of which, which Which kids don't know what anal sex is? Chaxi, These kids who are born not, everyone is, not everyone is having sex in primary like you. 
PS. He so was. Anywho. 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 I mean, he so was. I know how to drop Korea. No, from my house, Nikki Chungulia tracks. But yes, like, for, that's what I'm saying. For me, basic, you teach. But when it comes to other things, like don't plant curiosity. And these are these are babies. A nine year old. A nine year old is a not a baby old like this that. generation. Oh, yeah. Is a baby, yes. Mm. But also, you are living in the most exposed generation. Yes. They have a lot these of kids. Have they have access to a lot of everywhere. information. Yeah. They have the internet. Do you think mm. these kids don't know what what's happening? They don't get curious when people are kissing on screen and they feel some type of way. Mm. And they go look it up in their computer. Let me tell you, a nine year old, ukishika mm. mko ya that ka. Girl in class, you like you yeah, feel some you type. Feel you feel some you feel some type of way. Hmm. You'd know. And of course. Let's go to the camp. Kona Aziad. Bye. To my Malaysia anyway. Just <laughs> <laughs> walk away. So that makes Chucksy Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so we good. Maxi Mashari, but keep going. Oh wow. To Kosawa. Me, I'm done. Me, I'm done. Yeah, we straight. <laughs> All right, episode seventy three. We are matching. <laughs> This is the Park of Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Park of Podcast. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand.